Hello, and welcome to RX Fit 5 Minute Move. I am Danny Trejo. We're gonna go through a five minute workout today, kettlebell week, all right? It is Monday, it's the best day to get things going. First exercise, I'm gonna go ahead and quick demonstration. Good mornings, we're gonna be here, keep the kettlebell to your chest and bend over. You can dumbbell, bungee, whatever you have available or just air, it doesn't really matter. One legged RDL, well it matters, I just want you moving. It doesn't really matter for, uh, for other than that. All right, one leg RDL there. We're gonna do an alternating Romanian deadlift as well. So here, make sure you keep those hips back. And then you're gonna do an alternating clean. Make sure you switch every single time. And then you're gonna go into a glute raise. We're gonna do two legs here and just lift straight up. All right. All right, we have 15 seconds left. Guys, if you need to, go ahead and pause and just kind of get a quick understanding of the demonstrations before we get into it. Uh, it's totally all right, so we have eight seconds left. We'll go ahead and get started. By the way, I hope you like the new setup. <laughs> I decided since we're gonna be working out from our home, I might as well work out from our home as well. Two, one, go ahead and get started. Good mornings. Here, one minute. Remember, this is a mobility section. It's designed to not get you working out that hard. It's more of a stretch. Keep it here, stretch the calves, the glutes, or the hamstrings, the glutes, and the back as you go by maintaining a perfect posture the entire time. Go as far as you can every time without losing position. That's really important. We have 40 seconds left on that one. All right, and again, I'm using a kettlebell because it's kettlebell week. And the reason why I'm doing this week, you don't have to progress with me the way I'm doing it. You can do however you want to do it, uh, or whatever you have available to you at your home or your local gym. The goal is you understanding how to do these exercises with different pieces of equipment. Because I could use anything for all the exercises we always do. There's doesn't really matter. <laughs> All right, we have 16 seconds left. Make sure you're really stretching those hamstrings out. Get a little bit of a, uh, of a sweat going on, so that way when we get into the next section, you're ready to go and push yourself even harder for stability. Seven seconds left. And on this next one, you're gonna have, start with your left leg uh, on the ground and your right arm holding it, and begin. Just like so, so opposite arm to opposite leg. Again, think of the good morning position we just did, but now on one leg. And a lot of these are gonna be the exact same movement. All right, this is called a posterior chain, means the back side of your body, and it's the only part of the body that really connects seamlessly once it's locked into place. So that's why every exercise looks the exact same, or a variation of the same, the same movement. All right, in seven seconds, we're gonna switch legs. So stability, now that we've passed the mobility section, exercise number two, stability, I want you to go a lot faster now. All right, there's only, all right, switch legs. There's only two ways to get a really good workout, really. Either you go really fast, try to increase your speed without losing position, or you increase the amount of weight. Well, I guess there's a third, you do both. <laughs> so that's where I want you to focus on. All right, if you don't have that much weight, like I have only an eight pound for demonstrations purposes. I noticed last time I was breaking a big sweat when I was just hustling through him with heavy weight. Seven seconds left, um, but you go as heavy as you can available or go as fast as you can. Three, two, one, alternating RDL. So here, and you make sure you switch every time. Both feet down. Really, this one you would want to be heavy as possible. So whatever you have available around you, your dog, your child, a chair, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Maybe a dog, a child, and a chair all on top of it. Just pick that up. So we have 42 seconds of that. This is strength endurance. You really want to push yourself on the strength portion. This is where a lot of the work's going to happen. Uh, at least that's the, the important work. The burning will happen in the next section. But strength, remember strength is how much force you can place. You have 28 seconds left, all right? So here, make sure you're alternating. I know it's gonna be hard because you're alternating. If you feel like you can't get a smooth motion by switching the weight around, then just go both. All right, 16 seconds left. And by the way, I had some friends who are doing this workout as well who have been working out for a long time and they have to do it two or three times in a row. Totally cool, do it, multiple, put it on repeats. Six seconds left, six seconds, and then we go into alternating cleans, which is our power section. That's the one we're gonna get some, a little bit more explosiveness out of this movement. All right, so begin. So here, and you pull the weight up. So here, and then pull the weight up. That's the whole goal. This weight's obviously too light for me because I can, I can literally just, that. The goal is for it to be so heavy that you have to use your whole body into the same movement we've just been doing this entire time in order to increase, increase power to get that weight up there. All right, 37 seconds left on that side, and then we're gonna switch arms. All right, three, two, one, and now switch sides. Again, kettlebell, bungee, doesn't matter what you have. Um, actually, another reason why I wanted to bring it indoors is to show you how to hook up those bungees that hopefully y'all purchased off Amazon, uh, how to set them up on doors so that way you can use them a lot easier. Uh, it's probably the best way piece of equipment to use that doesn't take up any space at all. Kettlebells obviously take up space and they look kind of weird sitting in your living room. Uh, seven seconds left, and then we're gonna go to glute raises. Four, three, two, 
one, and both feet down, and lift up and squeeze through the butt. That's what today's all about. Mondays and Fridays, <laughs> it all works together. And as you notice, I'm not going all the way down. Go all the way down if you can. <laughs> I'm not, I have a uh, mic. If you notice the audio is different, it's because I have a new mic set up. So I should be sounding better for you guys. Crisp and clear and ready for you guys to understand what I'm saying the entire time. Another problem with working out outside before was uh, the wind was always blowing and you could hear the traffic from outdoors. So hopefully this mitigates a lot of that issue. All right, 30 seconds left. Now this section, fast as you can. That's the goal, this is the endurance. You just wanna go quick as you possibly can and burn off everything you have left in your body. The good mornings is the, the mobility section, which is to stretch you out. The one leg RDLs with stability, which is to work all the muscles in unison. The RDLs is for strength, to put a force in the body. The power section is alternating alternate cleans, which is to kind of exert as much energy as possible. And then the glute raises is the endurance to burn off all the energy you have left in the muscles. Five, four, three, two, one, and I will see you guys tomorrow for Total Body. It's great seeing you.